Hey everybody, this is uh, another project. This is my 2000 Civic. It's a DX. Dents on the side. It actually got hit by a semi truck. And I was going around the beltway. Got spun around the beltway. Still runs like a top though. Things like a tank. It won't die on me. I'm actually going to change out the rear struts. So I'm going to use a KYB Strut Plus. The part number is um, SR4042. I like the way they package this. You know, there's a warning label here. You never mess with this nut here. Mess with that nut. You can get really hurt. They got uh, plastic sleeves covering up the threads, which I like to protect the slip of threads. So I got to take this off, take this off, this sticker's off before I install it. They're both universal. I mean, both the you know, same, same type for left and right, driver's side and passenger side, rear. So you get two of those. Comes with its own little hardware. Tools you're going to need. I'm going to use impact guns if I can. The wrenches, torque wrenches. And uh, there's only a 14 and a 18 millimeter to get the lugs off the wheels. So I'm going to have to jack it up. Get some wood underneath the front, caulk the front wheels. I'm going to put it on jack stands, jack it up from the center, put it on the stands. And I'll take the wheels off and slide the wheels underneath the car, extra protection. Most of the stuff you don't have to get out totally underneath the car, but you never want to be underneath the car without extra safety precautions. Right, let me go jack it up and get it ready. Alrighty, got it jacked up. Got it on jack stands. You can still have the jack underneath the center point. Just for extra precaution. I uh, got the parking brake on, so these wheels are locked up. If not, you gotta loosen, loosen these up before you do that. Take the jack the car up. 19 millimeters. I always just pop the wheel off, roll it, slide it underneath the front of the, the underneath the frame. For extra support. Now I'm going to hit this with some uh, got two bolts here, 14 millimeter, 14 millimeter. I'm going to hit both ends with some PB blaster or any type of penetrating oil. So let it sit for a minute or two. Front and the back. Put a little cardboard box on these. Catch all the. Excess oil that drips down. This is pretty powerful stuff. And we'll just let it sit for a little bit. Alright, we let him sit for 10 minutes. Let's see if we can get him out. Here's your two bolts. So they're flared and tapered a little bit. It's a little rusty. I'm gonna clean them up. Put some uh, lubrication on them. Clean up this thread. You can see it's kind of a uh, Rust it up. Now we can just pop this down. We can get a pry bar. It's enough so you can just slide this over the edge. Now, like, when you look at the orientation of this, Bracket right here on the back, you have that, that's where your nut is welded. So when you put your other strut back in, make sure your nut is welded, is facing towards the driver's seat. Now in order to get at the top of the strut, I actually have a strut bar, which I took off real quick. So I've cut this out 
in order to install a strut bar. But if not, you got to pull this up, this cover off, and take this little corner piece off here on the seat. There's one bolt down here, pop it up. And there's a clip here, you can pop this clip out behind here, and you can pull this over. Yeah, luckily I have a, I just cut it out because I have a strut bar which I want to reinstall. But just loosen these up. Take one all the way out first. Now I'll loop one in because then I'll, I'll just take it out by hand while I'm holding the strut from underneath so it just doesn't go crashing down. Now I got one nut array off, got one barely on, just got a thread or two. Let's pick this up, get that last nut off. And drop it down. There's the old strut. All right, so here's the old strut. Just comparing them, see how they line up. See how your bolts are lined up on the parallel. Now, if you do have to twist it, this you can pop it in there. Get this down snug up tight. And you can twist the bottom of hair, not much. Got a lot of spring tension here. You got to twist it too much, you got to get a spring compressor, which I would not advise. Those things are very dangerous. I'm just hoping if I'm, I'm, hoping I'm not going to need it. I see a little bit of damage here. From the, from the old one, a little bushing or something. Well, let me, you know, I said I don't need this, don't need this, don't need this. Take this all off. I'll go ahead and install it. I remember you got some uh, plastic sleeves here over this, over these um, threads. You got to take that off. But let's see how it looks. All right, got everything off. I see, like you got to remember. Where this nut is welded on, you want that facing forward. So that comes in hardware. So I'm trying to work it up. It's the hole. Get it started. There you go, now I can hang. And then we gotta get it on on this. So now I'm trying to get this onto this bracket. Pry it down a little bit. Slide it over. You can start this one. You just gotta make sure you start it by hand. You do not want to cross thread this. this in. Let's make it snug now, we'll torque it down later. And then I'm gonna go up top and snug these down. On the top side. The 
Or were they actually supplies a little different? About 14 millimeter. Let's see what it is. So it's five eighths. Kind of sloppy in both. Snugging them up a little bit. I'm not, I'm not making them tight. Just get them so they're kind of flush. So I still want to put tension on down below. And then I'll start to torque the stuff down. But like I said, I also want to put the strut bar back on. All right. So this one you need a jack for because so you have to jack this up into here. Some pressure with that spring now. I started by hand. Let me start it. torque these down. It's supposed to be 40 pounds pressure. Dissolve my sure. Not too tight. Yeah, it's backing off. There you go. So you got 40 pounds of pressure on both sides. And the top one's supposed to be, uh, I believe, 36. So I want to torque that out to 36 pounds. Here's a better shot of the two bolts right here. 
you know, one, one and two right here. Both these are 40 pounds pressure. Okay. And I'm gonna go up here. These are supposed to be, um, is it a 30, 36 pounds? I'm gonna torque this down, top bolts. That's it. That's one strut still. Well, there you have it. Just a quick video on how to put a strut on an old 2000 Civic. Thanks for watching.